and the other selling drugs on the job. And both are Baltimore police officers. Tonight, both are facing charges. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Morgan was there as State's Attorney Ivan Bates likened one of the alleged crimes to the corrupt gun trace task force. Officers Sejus Watson and Alexi Acosta have both been indicted for two separate crimes. Acosta is accused of recklessly driving a car and hitting and killing Terry Harrell. The grand jury indicted Officer Alex Acosta for manslaughter, reckless driving, negligent driving, failure to control speed to avoid a collision, death of a vulnerable individual caused by a motor vehicle, and driving an emergency vehicle without regard for safety of persons. In a video released by the Attorney General's office, you can see Officer Acosta drive through a red light and hit Harrell. The crash is so gruesome, we can't show the entire footage that was released. The maximum penalty is three years in prison. Officer Sejus Watson is accused of stealing time from the police department and selling drugs while on the clock. It's alleged that approximately 118 p.m., he entered a tattoo shop carrying controlled dangerous substance, also known as CDS or drugs. Um, sold them and left the shop at around 1.34 p.m. Bates says both Baltimore City and County Police watched Watson as he allegedly went into the tattoo parlor to sell drugs. Bates likened Watson selling drugs to the crimes committed by officers on the Gun Trace Task Force. The other thing that I noticed was that the allegations of the Gun Trace Task Force, they were selling drugs while on duty. Here you have officers allegedly selling drugs while on duty. Watson's crime carries a maximum sentence of only six months in jail for time theft. Bates says he could receive a larger sentence for misconduct in office. That can be any amount as long as it's not viewed as cruel. Watson has been suspended without pay since December. In Baltimore City, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.